Hi, this is LaDonna um, with And She Saw Stars. I'm doing another little podcast um, video, I guess, for my YouTube channel, um, And She Saw Stars on YouTube. And then I have a website, com. Okay, you can also find me at LaDonnaDavis.CarbonMade.com. And you'll find like um, some of my photography and stuff like that. I do writing, uh, photography, freelance and then I also do fashion design. I went to FITM. I'm also an aerospace engineer. I went to University of Michigan and I have a master's of science in aeronautical engineering from Loughborough University. I was an exchange officer um, when I was in the Air Force for time. And so uh, my bachelor's is in aerospace engineering, master's of science in aeronautical engineering. And then I have a fashion design degree, um, associates from FITM. And then I was I'm on break, but I was pursuing and pursuing an associates in uh, pattern design from the Beverly Hills Design Institute, okay? And uh, I hope to finish that soon. I'm on break doing um, paperwork for Veteran Affairs, and that's taking a long time. Um, um, I've been so sick over the year. So um, while I was sick... Um, or during this time I'm sick, I'm sort of tapping into my um, earlier training as an herbalist and also earlier training, um, like using first aid and stuff like that, because um, I do travel a lot. And then also sort of working things um, with aromatherapy and, um, and sort of writing it, but also posting it. Now, um, I've always believed in carrying stuff, you know, around that you can. So um, on my earlier post that I did talking about um, doctoring my ramen noodles, um, I talked about different um, tinctures that I have, that um, which is a herbal solution um, um, where you've soaked um, herbs like peppermint, um, basil or sage, and the solution of like alcohol to make so the medicinal... Um, a medicinal liqueur that you can add drops to. This from it's been done over you know hundreds of years and is very old. And um, what you do is you get the essence of the the like the distilled sort of oils out of the herb, uh, fresh herbs. If you're using fresh herbs, if you get dried herbs, it's sort of the same. But um, it'll be like the various oils, um, various. Um, vitamins that came out of the herbs um it's it's a whole profile that that might distill okay um into your your solution okay and i do say um might because you might not get all the profile okay at any rate um over a period of time you you um you know sort of decoct it that's a different um process of making the tea um but still it's sort of the same thing you get a concentrate and um what you do is you strain it and then you bottle it and then you have sort of a um a herbal solution um in um in alcohol is much stronger um than if you were to use um like vinegar you could use apple cider vinegar if you like as well i've studied um um, with various herbalists, uh, like uh, I did aromatherapy and studied um, like books like Jeannie Rose, um, Rosemary Gladstar. I've gone to her um, women's herbal conference, um, and then I've also studied like Deb Sewell, and then um, let's see Susan Weed. Okay, just sort of studying with books. Okay, I was actually enrolled in a couple courses, Rosemary Gladstar, which I did not finish. Um, that's because I was in the military. And, um, you know, military, uh, my active duty life overtook my um, stuff that I was doing on the side. But that doesn't mean, it doesn't mean and didn't mean that I, I wasn't continuing my studies. And um, I have been using it. I had a... Uh, uh, illness then that I was treating, um, sort of like fibroids and stuff like that. And so I was using, um, like shepherd's purse and, um, tinctures of that and tinctures of peppermint oil, tinctures of, um, let's see, oh, well, shepherd's purse is probably really good. Dandelion and dandelion root. Okay. Help for the liver and also help with the uterine. Um, Okay. Um, uterine um, issues. Okay, I could. I totally wasn't going to talk about that in this um, post, but I'm I'm mentioning it.
Okay, but um, that's why I ended up doing it. I, I did end up having surgery anyway, um, but I totally um, feel the herbs is what helped me to get to the point that I was able to still be on active duty and still um, um, get to the surgery, okay? Because it was a very difficult time. And I, I had a long um, help process, help people um, and folk that were helping me. Um, allopathic, um, yes, um, but primarily um, complementary um, medicine, a lot of acupuncture, which I swear by, and then um, various doctors in London that helped me um, with um, medicines that, that actually got me to where I needed to be, saved my life and everything. Okay, now, I was going to talk about that. I'm talking about this tea I made, okay? And I used sort of, um, just sort of a tincture, a few drops of sage, a few drops of um, holy basil um, tincture, and then um, I started off with lavender. I really believe in lavender um, tincture. Um, Jeannie Rose believes in lavender um, a lot, and um, and and she she is an amazing um, instructor. Okay, if you ever get to study with her. Her um, studies and various profiles and spectrums of lavender is extensive, okay? And um, I have been fortunate to, to study with her, okay? I've also studied with um, Doreen Virtue. Um, I do angel readings and stuff like that. And I've studied with um, Lynn, uh, Lynette Brown, okay? I've studied with her um, metaphysics training. And then... Um, um, Ellen Malloy, she did um, angel training, um, like healing and Reiki and stuff like that. I studied that. Um, Mr. William Rand, I studied um, Reiki with. I also studied with the Virginia um, when I did um, Reiki when I was in uh, Virginia. Okay, I was stationed there. And then I also did um, crystal healing, studied um, uh, with the um, crystal shaman when I was in Texas. Okay, um, a lot of crystal healing. And then I also studied... Um, with um, uh, the Crystal Academy, okay, and that's, um, I'll, I'll try to remember her name, Katrina Raphael, okay, and I'm certificated through there, I have certificates through RAND and, and such as that, and I'm a Reiki master, and um, I'm also doing my own studies in um, crystal healing, okay, using Reiki, but also using various um, forms of crystallography, um, crystal, um, and when I talk about that, I'm talking about the the various forms you can get crystals in, but also the makeup of crystals. Okay. All right. That's another, another video. Um, this is stuff that I was st studying on the side while I was in the military because I was very ill and also I'm an engineer anyway. <clears throat> to me, it's, um, just another form of energy and another form to study. Okay, so this tincture I'm making um, was really great, um, and it has um, just a little bit of hot water and a little bit of, um, you know, the holy basil and also the sage, and it is really great. Um, I'm just going to drink it today um, just to sort of get this, <clears throat> you know, out, um, but to be honest, I didn't have it. I started drinking and brought it up, and so that's how you know it's a good tea, but um, I really feel... Um, that is it's useful in in helping to be fight um, bacteria, fung, you know, it's antibacteria, antifungal, and then also distressing and stuff like that. So I rec um, recommend, um, and this is sort of the maybe the point of it um, that you that that everyone finds their thing that gives them um, peace. And if it's tea, then you can sort of make it a little bit better um, by adding little tinctures, okay? Or you can get herbal teas. You can get sage teas, okay, in the um, bag, and you also could get um, holy basil in the bag, lavender teas, and stuff like that. Now, if you make it in a tea, that's a tisane, okay, with just water, okay, and then you get into the, the, the science of steeping. How many steeps do you have? Is it a steep you know, deep brew this when you get into decoctions, okay, um, how concentrated is your tea, and I'm very much into tea, okay, I'm very much into tea, I, I really um, admit that, and so um, if you get sort of a light, um, weak tea uh, versus a, um, a more decoctic tea, then that's sort of where you're getting, um, you know, again, like this heavy concentrated of um, profile of um herbs, okay, and steeped herbs, okay, it's again uh, making your water medicinal, 
Okay, now from there, I'm going to talk about what I am into um, sort of now is this foodie thing. I'm into um, being a foodie, okay? I've always been a foodie, to be honest. Okay, let me see if I can show this thing, this oatmeal that I'm doing. It's um, Bob's Red Mill, okay? And you could buy them, I, you know, um, now. Um, just like Quaker Oats, Quick Oats, you could buy... Um, Red Mill Bob Oats, I'll show them here. Like in a thing, add water, three minutes, and then you get great oatmeal. Okay, now, um, it's gluten-free oatmeal, and um, I bought this. It has flax and chia, and um, flax seeds are very good. A lot of omegas in there, and chia seeds. are. Um, they, there was uh, maybe a couple years ago a chia revolution along with flaxseed revolution. People were doing it when you're doing the green drinks. Okay, um, there's a revolution here in um, oatmeal, um, but very classic. I would use flax and chia, okay, in my oatmeal. Anyway, is it makes it more um, emollient, okay? It, it, it complements the oats, which are emollient, okay? And then also... Um, herbaceous i'm gonna um go into that is because they're sort of um sort of um they grow with other other plants and so you get sort of a greening of um, your oatmeal and greening of so your flax and chia this sort of gives you like um just sort of like a very earthy um sort of herbal vibe when you eat it okay it's likely from the profile in the soils um that has lots of other plants um minerals and stuff like that and vitamins growing in it and then you recognize it and it gives you this memory um okay through your taste buds and everything the whole um perception of this food and then it gives you this where you say it's herbal okay herbaceous okay now um flaxseed and chia seed i'm gonna doctor it up um like i did with um my um, ramen noodles okay it looks really it looks really good here i sort of do a little okay all right and um i'm gonna add for this i would recommend something like um obviously honey is great to put in here as a sweetener Okay, but you're going to get something of honey in there. You can get um, a lot of the pollens in there. That's going to have some of these florals in it. Okay, depending on what type of honey you have. Wildflower honey, wildflowers. Okay, poppies and stuff like that. Okay, and then your um, calendulas and everything like that. Those are great um, little medicinals for you. And those bees work their little booties off carrying that pollen over so they can get in the hives. Okay, and then work it. And, um, and it, it produces this amazing... Um, um, nectar, okay, um, ambrosia from the gods, little gods, little bee gods, they're making it, that we get to add it to our honey and get to, um, add it into our medicinal foods and, um, um, and benefit, okay, I would add lavender tincture to this and maybe a little sage, okay, um, lavender will give it, um, complement this floral thing that you have going on with the flax and chia, okay, and then, um, especially if you add honey, Okay, and then sage sort of makes it a bit more herbaceous. So I wouldn't do too many drops of that. Do like a couple drops of sage, and then I would do more lavender, like maybe seven drops of my lavender tincture, and then I would mix it in, okay? And then if I have anything like jam or stuff like that, I did a spoon of jam. If you want to do protein it up because you have flax and chia, it's very much like a protein in there, then I do a spoonful of peanut butter. Okay, you can do a spoonful of cashew butter, and that will make it sort of nice. Then you get sort of this thing going on with cashew butter, but still protein. Okay, and then you want to sweeten that up, and you add a little lavender. Okay, because lavender does act as a sweetener, and I find, even in tincture form. Okay, you can, of course, get lavender honey and stuff like that. Lavender sugars, okay, I would make my own um, if I were doing that. And that's really easy to do. You just get some lavender, fresh lavender, organic um, leaf. And then you have it sitting in um, um, sugar, okay, over a period of time. And then um, you get sort of your lavender in the sugar, okay, um, permeating together. is another another um, medicinal uh, recipe that you're making. Okay, now, a long time ago, I had a, a business called Stargazer Creations where I did this type of stuff, making medicinals and um, um, herbal lotions and stuff and foods and teas. I did a lot of teas and everything like that. So I'm benefiting from that, using it now. And um, 
And um, this is sort of where we where where I am at now. Okay, doing this stuff. And so um, I just wanted to um, bring in my foodie compliment because I, I was, wasn't really doing food, food, food a lot then. Um, not as much as I'm doing it now. I was doing sort of a lot of, a lot of different stuff with um, just sweets. Um, now that I have this food um, compliment going on, um, foodie, I'm sort of I'm bringing in to you this sort of gluten-free. This is a gluten-free meal. If you do it right with the oatmeal, um, Bob's Red Meal, um, oatmeal, oats, Gluten free, um, and said stated on um, on his packaging. Okay, yay. Okay, you see it, and then um, you have that, and then um, you have your tea, and this is a great, great, nice little um, little snack that you can have while you're on the run. Okay, or doing errands. Okay, it's no sense. You don't have to starve everything, and you don't have to do fast food, especially unhealthy fast food. You can have this thing. Um, I'm a writer. Okay, so this is sort of like a writer's way. Okay, this is how you um, get through your writing. Okay, you're writing your book, you're writing, you're doing a lot of paperwork. Okay, and then you're doing writing as well. Then you have these sort of snacks and stuff you carry around um, with you, um, food. Okay, this is because you have um, writer's breaks. And this is where you're doing, like, you want writer's breaks, okay, with food, not um, some sort of chips, okay? That's not really for a writer. A writer has to think, okay? So you want the oatmeal, and you want stuff like your ramen noodles, but doctored up, okay? And then um, um, future videos of mine will actually probably review actual uh, ramen um, noodle stands. I have some of my favorite. And then also little places I go for pot stickers and stuff, dim sum, uh, which I really love. And then I'll sort of talk to you about what's really great there, what's really great here, and how much you can, uh, what you can get. Like if you're on a student, I'm still doing like the student um, budget life here, which is great, okay? Um, but eventually I'll be um, upping my, I, I'm, I do a rich student, okay, just so you know. Okay, that's because I once had a job. Okay, I did my high school student when I did <laughs> and college student, which was like um, just cheap, <laughs> cheap student, and that's that's in college. Okay, now once you get a job and you go back to student, like when I went to FITM, I was a rich student, so then I do a rich, I sort of do a rich me. Okay, so this is where we're buying stuff, you know, economically, we do not mention, we buy stuff we want, and then we worry about price later, okay, and then, and that's how you, you live your, your taste, but also you live um, luxuriously, okay, and that's um, important to do. Okay, um, when you want to live like, you know, for survival, okay, and that's like, you see this look here, that's survival, that's from um, college first degree, okay, where you don't have time to think. You don't have time to eat, okay? That's when you get the ramen, okay? And it's a different, it's a different mentality, okay? That's 23 cent ramen, <laughs> okay? Just in water. You don't really care, okay? You don't care about the pot. You don't care that the pot is tainting your water because it's metal. And then you don't care about the um, chemical processes that's going on with the, <laughs> with the water and it's making, because essentially it's a tea that you're making, Okay, you got to taint the tea. What you want, a nice tea and a ceramic. Okay, you make a ceramic, um, get a ceramic um, container, and you make your tea, and then you don't have any type of taint coming in. That's sort of where you get into these coffees and these teapots, like the little um, shishang, I think, or yeah, shia. Okay, I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay, um, but I will look at look into that. Those they're ceramics, but you make the same tea over time, and it takes on the flavor of it. That's sort of the part of go of that 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 process there. Okay, um, I'm not doing that. Okay, I'm doing something different here. But in those other times, we're doing that. But just so you know, um, I'm doing a luxury. Okay, and that doesn't mean you have to have like sixty dollars, and now we have like a, a bowl of oatmeal. No, it means that we do like um, ten dollars. Okay, and then we have oatmeal and water, and then we have uh, we have desserts on the side. That's how you, you do luxury student. Okay, and you still freelance. Okay, you still <laughs> freelance. You're getting paid one day. Okay, all right, that's how it is. All right, now, so that's it for me, and that's uh, LaDonna with And She Saw Stars. Formerly, um, when I had a Stargazer Creations for the Herbal and... Um, 
I, I will be doing herbal um, stuff. I do do readings and stuff like that if you're interested. I'm very good with that. I'll probably be doing one of those. Um, I, I just like, um, I like to um, live me, and that's a luxury. And so when you live with luxury, then you do you. You don't um, segregate you, um, which is really easy to do, especially when I was in the military. Um, What you have to do is sort of be like the whole person, which is what the military was really about, okay? And so being the whole person, this is also me. I'm a chef, chef chefery, bunny chef. I've done a little TV show on YouTube. Um, Yes, okay. And I was given like a TV show. Uh, It was Bid Chat, but Bid Chat fell through, and so um, that did not work out as hoped. Okay, so I'm doing stuff here. I am interested if there are any um, chefs, true chefs, that are looking for co-hosts or looking for people to help um, with recipe development and also um, tasting and um, writing down taste profiles, um, I am very good at that, okay? Especially if you want to work with organics, um, herbals, and then also do substitutions because I did um, and do sort of um, a lot of gluten-free and then um, a lot of... um, Sugar substitutions are really great for that. And then also working with herbals and uh, making um, food tasty um, and um, and medicinal at the same time without it being offensive or um, intolerant, okay? Intolerant to bear, okay? Um, and then after that, okay, if you go to com, you'll see all my pages and you'll see um, stuff. You'll see where you can donate to me and my freelance um, efforts and my stuff, um, pattern design, and then also um, things I'm into, stuff I've experienced and the horrors of that, which um, um, I talk about on my website. Um, unfortunate, the fortunates of uh, racism. Okay. All right. Now, um... I'll talk about that in another post, okay? Because I was I was not raised that way, okay? And I was an officer, so in case that wasn't clear, okay? I was an officer in the Air Force, okay? And I was a lieutenant colonel when I left, okay? All right, now I'm going to move on. If um, you want to uh, reach out to me, you have my website, and she saw stars. That's all one long spelling, and she saw stars.com. Okay, and then uh, you get my emails there. And then um, you could also reach out to me on my YouTube channel, and she saw stars, and then you have the Davis.carbonmade.com. If you want to hire me for freelance work, um, I do shoots. I specialize, it, specialize, excuse me. Okay, I totally went like that. I do red carpets and stuff like that. That's totally my uh, freelancer um, flash you trying to work the red carpets and work um, the circuits. Okay, I do award shows um, as well. <laughs> and I do journalistic reporting. Um, and I've been to various events and covered them successfully. And um, I've um, covered, um, you know, Hollywood funerals, which I'm not, that's not my, um, my main thing. Um, I'm into fashion and style and commentary. Okay, so um, I went to it, and it was uh, something worthy of commentary. And um, um, herbal stuff I'm into, if you need me on a cook show, um, I will show, and I will bring uh, my recipes and cook there. And then if you want me to design for you, then you need to put it in writing with the specifications of what you want a design for. I specialize in upcycled recycling designs. Um, I also do a lot of gowns, and you can see my runway shows that I've done on YouTube um, channel, um, and she saw stars. Okay, and um, and then I will tell you um, how long it will take for me to design for you. Okay, um, I'm very um, I have high expectations when it comes to design. I expect you to know your requirements. Okay, that's from the Air Force where I used to work requirements and uh, work design and testing. Okay, so those are some of my specialties there. I'm also um, still working engineering, and if you need a um, freelance engineer, consultant, I'm available for that. My specialty is um, is testing, okay, um, aerodynamic testing. Um, yes, I've um, done in, in-flight um, testing, okay, and um, also testing of, of parts and bits. Okay, so if you need specialists in that, um, reviewing um, technical documents, I can do that. Writing techni- 
technical um, documents, I can do that. Um, lots of um, things, things of officers, okay, mentoring and stuff like that. Um, training I can do, and I have done. I did go to the auto show, um, and I did talk about recommendations. I did some reviews of Mazda. I thought it should have been more active duty people there because um, we, we've sometimes gone to conferences, and I think that's great. Um, and I really thought, um, especially since we were talking engines, I mean, these are automobiles, but I thought Mazda um, would have great applications for the military and, and pro um, possible development of that, uh, that automobile um, engine. Um, has a, maybe a profile that can go into something like a helicopter or something like that. Okay, and that was just for my ear and uh, listening um, to um, the engine. Okay, and um, that, that is my recommendation. I think that's on one of my um, YouTubes, but it's also here. Okay, so those are some of my specialties, and if you're interested, um, <laughs> um, contact me. Okay, all right, thank you. Okay, bye.